Good day everyone! Welcome to Biotube. In this platform, I'll be presenting how my team, the Team C of the General Biology 1 class, have worked on the given project entitled as Visiting the Cell Travel Brochure. In the aforementioned, we were tasked to come up with a cell comparison to an existing real-life attraction. With attraction, tourist spots, establishments, and other similar stuff were taken into consideration. Our team then have chosen rice meal, a kind of factory as a cell counterpart. Let us watch my team's prepared video presentation on why a rice meal is comparable to a cell. Today, we're going to talk about the cell. What do you think of when you hear the word cell? What about organelles? In order to make things easy, we identified a real-life attraction that is comparable to the cell. To give you a little background, an organelle is a subcellular structure that has specific jobs to perform in the cell, similar to the apparatuses in the mill. So get ready to immerse yourself in discovering cell parts and their functions as we tour around the cell counterpart, the rice mill. Here is the exterior of the rice mill. This can be comparable to the cell membrane which provides some structural support to the cell. It separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment. It's also semi-permeable which means that it only allows certain materials to leave and enter. By doing so, it allows the cell to maintain homeostasis. This is the floor area where all the milling equipment is stored, similar to how the cytoplasm, a jelly-like substance enclosed by the cell membrane, houses the cell organelles. It fills up the shape of the cell, thus enabling the organelles to remain in their position. This is the operator of the rice mill. He acts like the nucleus of the cell. He oversees everything that happens during the whole milling process. Similarly, the job of the nucleus is to control and direct all the activities of the cell. Aside from that, the nucleus also houses the hereditary material of the cell, the DNA. This is the end product of the milling process, rice. It can be compared to proteins. While rice is the product being made in the mill, the proteins are the organic compounds being synthesized in the cell. Here we have the milling apparatuses. These are the tools that perform milling operations. They husk rice powdy to produce the actual rice. They can be compared to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which synthesizes protein. Over by that side, the elevators are located. They transport the milled rice throughout the different levels of the building. They can be compared to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is a structure of passageways that carry the proteins throughout the cytoplasm. It also synthesizes lipids and steroids and is responsible for detoxifying the cell. This is the technologized milling apparatus. It enhances the quality of the milk rice just like how the Golgi body modifies the synthesized proteins and prepares them for export. It also sorts and determines where to send the molecules that it receives, either to the cytosol, cell membrane, lysosome, or outside of the cell. Here we have the blower. It takes away milling wastes like rice husk and bran. It operates the same way as lysosomes, which removes dead cell parts and unwanted materials from the cell. Lysosomes are full of enzymes that break down cellular waste products into simple compounds, which are then transferred to the cytoplasm as new cell building materials. The rice mill cannot function without electricity, just like how a cell can run without energy. The transformers take part in powering the entire rice mill, similar to how the mitochondria, the cell's powerhouse, produces ATP in a process called cellular respiration that provide energy for the cell's activities. What you just saw are the different facets involved in the milling process and how the rice mill is analogous to a cell. It helps us gain a better understanding of each individual function of the organelles by comparing them to the parts of the rice mill. Each component of a rice mill plays a key role that are individually and collaboratively important in the whole milling procedure, similar to how each organelle of a cell makes up the whole cell structure. And that's the end of our tour. Thank you for traveling with us. Moving forward, let us proceed in this suggested video with the title Team C's Reflection. Divided into teams, we STEM students were thrown with the challenging question, what real-life attraction can you compare to a cell? The response required isn't just a simple explication. We were tasked to show our answer through a cell travel brochure 
hence what's being depicted in this video. In compliance, our team has come up with the answer, rice meal as a cell counterpart. For the preparation, a project work plan was first done where duties to be worked upon by each member were imposed. The leader has subdivided our team for better division of labor. Proposed subteams were editors, presenters, and writers. Having responsible members, our team did not encounter any difficulties in implementing the project work plan. Despite our social media limited interaction, it is of no hindrance for us to still possess competent teamwork. Hence, our team situation in doing the workload is collaboratively well, especially that the ones assigned in doing the brochure and video presentation have made remarkable products and the writers of the team are good in their jobs. Aside from this, undertaking the said project helped us permanently put into our minds the different parts of a cell and their respective functions as our minds enjoy the work of comparing the cell to our rice meal. Oops, it seems like the program has run into a problem. Well, I guess this will be the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening. We hope you have learned something while enjoying your travel inside the rice meal.